The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord looks upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons, as proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
that passed God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days he has spoken to us through the Son. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Bubba had a little too much to drink on New Year's Eve. So as he was staggering home, he encountered a police officer who said, where are you going? He said, I'm heading to a lecture. He said, who gives lectures at this hour of the night? Bubba said, my wife. <laughs> There's an old Irish tradition. On New Year's, you open the back door to let out the old year, let in the front door, let in the new year. The last couple of years, not only the front and back door, I've opened up all the windows, the garage, and the attic stairs. I don't think 2021 was quite as challenging as 20, but we still had some challenges, and we are still facing some challenges as we go into 2022. Hopefully, collectively, as we come together with all of our prayers, maybe we can return to some type of normalcy. Today we conclude the octave of Christmas as we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. And as we face these new challenges, we certainly look to our Blessed Mother. Mary never faced a COVID pandemic, but she did travel 90 miles while she was nine months pregnant on a donkey. She gave birth to, his, to our Savior in a stable. She had to flee to Egypt to keep Herod from killing her son. And we know that Joseph's death left her a very young widow, which was quite a hardship during that time. We're facing a beginning. The Holy Family faced a beginning. Important for us to remember as they faced their challenges, they were fully human also. St. Luke is a masterful storyteller. He's the only evangelist to tell us of the story of the stable. He says, Jesus was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Luke is carrying us back to the Book of Wisdom, where King Solomon told his people, as a baby, I was wrapped in swaddling clothes. He's telling the people of his humility, saying that I'm a man the same as you. Also, when we swaddle a baby, they feel protected. Luke is telling us that Mary and Joseph were protecting this helpless infant Jesus. As we go into our new year, I'd like to suggest that we put ourselves under the protection of St. Joseph as Jesus and Mary did. We've just concluded the year of St. Joseph, and Wednesdays have always been dedicated to St. Joseph. I have added in my daily prayer some time with St. Joseph, special emphasis on Wednesdays. I'd like to invite you to do the same. The last image I'd like to leave you from Luke is Jesus was placed in a manger. This is a feeding trough. How about the plan of our good and gracious God who 2,000 years ago placed our Savior in a feeding trough and today, daily, he still feeds us at this Eucharistic table. Happy New Year.